Here we are required to factorize this expression. It is a quadratic expression in trinomial form. This expression is a trinomial that we will factorize by first resolving its middle term into its two components. This is a trinomial, as a matter of fact, a quadratic in trinomial form. It therefore has three terms. Its original form has four terms. In order that we may factorize this expression, we need to resolve the middle term into its two components, which will cause it to have four terms. In order for us to resolve that middle term into its two components, we need the two numbers which when multiplied will give the same product as 3 times negative 2. They will have a product of negative 6. When we add those two numbers, the result will be negative 5. Those two numbers with a product of negative 6 and a sum of negative 5 will be the coefficients of the two middle term which will replace this and which will cause this trinomial to be in what I know to be the quadratic or four term form. There we have it. The two numbers with a product of negative 6, same as these two multiplied together, and a sum of negative 5 is negative 6 and 1. They will therefore replace the negative 5 that we have here. This negative 5x will be negative 6x plus 1x or plus x. The coefficient of 1 is not necessary to show because 1 is the default coefficient. The numbers are negative 6 and 1. They replace the coefficient of the middle term. They replace this negative 5 here. Negative 6 plus 1. 1, of course, is the default coefficient. We will go straight ahead and factorize by grouping, taking the terms 2 at a time. We have four terms. Factorization by grouping. We are going to group the terms 2 at a time, but we are not going to show that grouping. That is going to be assumed. We will therefore factorize the first two terms that we have right here. The common factor of the first pair is 3x. We can see that 3 is a common factor of 3 and 6. Also, x is a common factor of x squared and x. The common factor of 3x squared and negative 6x is 3x. We will also go straight ahead and divide each of these terms by the highest common factor, bearing in mind that we are only factorizing the first two terms. 3x into 3x squared, the 3 will cancel, and x into x squared is x. Also, 3x into negative 6x, the x's will cancel, and 3 into negative 6 is negative 2. So that term will be x minus 2. We will take a look at the second pair, which does not seem to have any common factor. Therefore, we will consider that the common factor is 1. We will also divide each of these terms by the common factor of 1. And we know that any term, expression, or number divided by 1 will result in the same term number or expression. Therefore, this will be the other factor. We have that right there. Any number or expression divided by 1 results in the same number or expression. The common factor of the resulting expression, as we can see that there's a common factor of x minus 2. The common factor of x minus 2 will be next. Next to follow will be the other factor, 
which will be comprised of 3x and this positive 1 that we have right there. Download Richard James Mathematics Resources app from the Google Play Store and have all of your examination solutions, instructional manuals, and other electronic books and booklets in one place. Also, have all of our products and services at your fingertips and on the go. Call our WhatsApp 876 351 9689 or 876-318-8848 for all hard copy books and booklets to complement your studies. Significant discounts will be given to everyone who is registered with any of our programs.